27 years after River Phoenix's death, Joaquin made a heartbreaking confession. In the nearly three decades since River Phoenix's death, his younger brother Joaquin has followed in his siblings' footsteps to become a celebrated actor in his own right. The latter was with his brother on the night he succumbed to a fatal drug overdose, and he's barely spoken about River's death until now. For all the times Joaquin Phoenix has been given an audience lately, the Golden Globe winning actor's family has not been the topic of discussion. But in a candid interview with US 60 Minutes, Phoenix opened up about his brother River, who suffered a fatal drug overdose 27 years ago out the front of Hollywood hotspot Viper Room. I feel like in virtually every movie that I made, there was a connection to River in some way, the 45-year-old actor said of his brother, who had an extensive acting CV before his tragic passing age 23. I think that we've all felt his presence and guidance in our lives in numerous ways. Phoenix admitted his brother was the reason he joined the cast of Martin Scorsese's 1980 film Raging Ball. He came home and very excitedly said, here is this movie, I think it just awakened something in me, he recalls, and I could suddenly see it through his eyes. You know, River was a really substantial actor and movie star, and we didn't really know it, the Joker star adds. Following River's passing in 1993, which the Oscar-nominated star witnessed, Phoenix says his family struggled with the media attention. During that time in which you are most vulnerable, there are helicopters flying over, there are people that are trying to sneak onto your land, certainly, for me it felt like it impeded on the morning process. Phoenix says his mom and sisters really kept his memory alive, with his sister singer Rain dedicating her 2019 album, River, to him. Rain has this beautiful lyric in her song, says Phoenix, before Rain, who sat in on the somber interview, recited, In my mind I still see your light, I keep it alive. Phoenix's mother Arlene Sharon Phoenix admits still to this day she feels the grief for her son. I will be driving and all of a sudden I will feel it, she says, and I will just welcome it.